against size. He's just crafty enough to carve out some wiggle room. I'll tell you, the analytics crew may not like the mid-range, but sometimes you just got to put it in the basket. Here's Curry. Steps back and drains the jump shot. Curry. Curry's got 15. Coming off a big game, his confidence couldn't be higher, and Coach knows it. Well, the best players to me deliver night after night after night, so as long as he's hot, keep riding it. Now, here's Brown. Six points for him. Pass it to Hauser. Six to shoot. Here's Pritchard. Hits the three-point five. He has seven. Well, if you offer no resistance defensively, he's going to knock down the three. It's really that simple, guys. Curry outside. Another three from Steph Curry. This guy is unreal. You can just see the passion and love with which he plays the game. You see how he prepares, the work ethic, the way he interacts with his teammates. And when he hits the floor, it's all about the game. And the call will go against Jonathan Kaminga. That's his first foul. And here in the second quarter of action as we approach four minutes played. Here's Hauser. He has yet to score. And the clock. Here's Brown. And we see players sometimes, Greg, after a change of venue, they, they change teams suddenly taking the next step. What can be that leap? Kevin, it's not all just opportunity and fit. I think there can be a mental component as well. A, a fresh start can give you a blank canvas to try new things. Here's Pritchard following the basket by Jonathan Kaminga. Outside, Horford. Let's it go from deep, and the Celtics hit again from deep. Well, this is just another way that Al Horford can beat you. He has turned himself into a quality three-point shooter. Curry is inside, guarded by Horford. Curry gets the bucket. This is what we call highly efficient play. Working off the screen, getting to the cup. And now, the first time out call here for Boston. And here's Brown. He'll bring it up for Boston. Pass to Cornette. Here's Pritchard. No good on the three. The Warriors have gone five of seven from the field here in the second. Curry with it. He's got 20. crashes inside. Curry. Well, don't underestimate Curry because of his size. This guy does a great job absorbing contact and still finishing. Here's Pritchard. No good, and he's three of six from the floor. The Warriors lead it. Break their offensive approach has been rock solid here. And they're finding the weak spots in the D and attacking. Higgins outside. Just five on the clock. Shoots. It's Curry. That time on the assist Curry. by Wiggins. Assist. And that's now 24 points Andrew. for Stephen Curry. Boston's gone two or three when they've stepped beyond the arc in the second quarter. Brown outside. And another miss by Boston. On offense, here are the Warriors. They're on an 11-3 run. Doris, looking at the career of Jalen Brown so far, his rise to stardom has been impressive. It's impressive, Kevin, because of the work put in. He needed to become a more complete offensive player by number one improving his handle and number two becoming more efficient with his shooting. He's done both. He's always been a force in transition. Jalen has been special. And here is Brown after the three-pointer from Stephen Curry. Here's Pritchard, guarded by Curry. A shot by Pritchard, no good. Listen, simply put, he's got to finish that. It's not like the defender was right on top of him. And the call will be against Al Horford. That's his first foul. First team foul. Off 
Austin on D. They trail by seven. And the three ball is good. Beginning to take charge of this game. This could be a crucial point. Well, working hard, building out a small lead, but you can't afford any kind of letdown here. Time called here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. One guy who's been getting it done so far, Stephen Curry. Well, I think this is a necessary timeout so they can figure out a way to limit the impact this guy's having from three-point range. They've got to dedicate more resources to their perimeter D. From deep three-point land. Lock at six. Here's Jackson Davis. Good, and Curry gets the assist. Jackson Davis. Curry's got three assists in the game. You know, the assist is the key part of that play. The pace on the bounce pass, perfect. A shot by Pritchard, no good. No matter what looks they get, they just can't convert to stop this run. And I think you can start to feel their frustration mounting. With every missed bucket, it becomes more and more desperate. Now here's Wiggins. Following the miss by Jonathan Kaminga. Golden State moving the ball around. And he drives in. Melton. And it's off the back rim. No good. Boy, against so little defensive pressure, you have to convert that. To end the run. A shot by Pritchard, no good. Warriors leading by 12. Curry from deep three-point land. Another three for Seven. Golden State. Curry. I mean, the range is just unreal. Curry can make even the toughest shots. Timeout, timeout. Well, look easy. Timeout. Now a timeout called by Boston. Yeah, things not going their way, and he wants to just try to talk this one over. Well, night in and night out, sometimes Here it's a battle of the run. He has the most. And the Celtics with possession here. Ah, there's Tatum's range on display. You know, the ability for Jason Tatum to be ready on the catch. Those opportunities make the game a little bit easier. Curry fires from way outside. Another three for Golden State. The real. Come at us, and we're coming right back at you. And you would expect nothing less from these two, taking pride and making plays. Now, here's Brown. Six points for him. And there's the bucket from Tatum. Boy, what a pass by Jalen Brown. Probably one of his most improved areas. Now, here's Curry. He's tightly guarded. In the corner, it's Melton. The pass to Kaminga. Down to five on the shot clock. Curry can't get it to go. Celtics trail by 13. Holiday with it. And Curry picks him up defensively. Here's Tatum. That's tipped. That'll be Boston as it goes out of bounds. Celtics retain Boston possession. Ball. And there's the call on Curry. That's foul number two for him. Second personal foul. Second team foul. Here's Tatum. Up against it inside. Tatum fights through. Hatchets his way to the rack. Well, with the high release point, Jason Tatum can be calm under duress on the interior. That's nice. Here's Curry. 18 feet out. And it's good off the back of the rim and in. And the Warriors lead by 13. And not sure what you can do with a guy like that. With his handles, he can just take defenders to school. Higgins outside. He dishes it to Curry. One forty-four left in the first half. Six on the shot clock. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. That one on Horford. Ideally, you're trying not to send Stephen Curry to the line, but this guy creates those situations with his instinct and his ability. First free throw is good. And both free throws good for Curry. 
Celtics trail by 15. Passes it to Pritchard. The shot's good. Brown making the play. Brown's got his fourth assist in this one. I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here it is eye opening. Now here's Curry. He has 38 in the game. Boy, there might have been a time where that contact knocked Stephen Curry off his path. Not now. Not with the work he's put in on his body. Pritchard gets the bucket. Well, the coach loves this kind of ball movement. Anytime you create something inside the free throw line, you know it's a good look. Here's Curry with the three. Another three for Stephen. Golden State. Curry. Uh, unwilling to let Curry. up even for a moment. That's his killer instinct. Just fanning the flame. One thing I enjoy is watching players who don't pay attention to the score. You lock in on the moment and play the right way. Pass to Wiggins. Fires from the corner. Here's Jackson Davis. Now Curry. 43 points in the game. Five on the clock. That one goes in. Stephen Curry's Curry. got 45 points. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. And that's typical of this guy. He's always reading the situation, reacting quickly and capitalizing. Such a multi-talented threat on the offensive end, and you love his confidence. Higgins outside. Back to Curry. And it's sent back by Horford. Well, this guy is a consistent shot block threat. Al Horford twice on the pipes. And no doubt they'd love to see him get a lot more of those opportunities. And that deficit will go away quickly if he does grip. Here's Curry. The focus from Curry gets it to fall inside. I tell you, he's making everything he looks at tonight. He should be their number one option on every possession. And so it's the Golden State Warriors with a 14-point lead as we bring the quarter to a close. They've been putting on a clinic in the paint. Shots are falling with regularity, and they are pounding it down low. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thank you, Kevin. Here with Draymond Green. Draymond, big front court on the other team. Was the game plan to make them adjust to you? Absolutely. Um, we know their size. That's what they were going to bank on. Pull them away from the rim a little bit. We were able to knock some shots down. You look comfortable, and they did not. Thanks a lot, Draymond. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, thank you. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the third quarter. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Greetings to each and every one of you watching at this very moment. Uh, I'm Ernie Johnson. Kenny the Jet Smith is here. Shaq is here. One half is behind us. Welcome to the 2K Sports Halftime Show. The first half was all about Stephen Curry. His three-point stroke was a thing of beauty. He was very consistent. Knocked down seven total, giving the defense nightmares out there. Taking a look at the Warriors. Kenny, what would you think? I like what they're doing offensively. Looking at their field goal percentage, they're moving the ball, getting great looks, and of course, they're knocking down shots. I mean, that's the point of the game, isn't it? Shaq, right? That's the point. Obviously. And Shaq, what are your thoughts on Boston? Well, with the way they struggle to defend the three-point line, it's starting to look like a warm-up. They cannot be afraid to bring more defenders out high. They got to make life.